Thanks, Aaron. Leftover food scraps at your favorite stores and restaurants are now being turned into compost thanks to the city. Yeah, we first told you about the city composting program last year when it began as a pilot program. Well, now the city has decided to make it a permanent service, and as a result, they are expanding to include more businesses. Now, on your side, Ricky Mitchell joins us live from Moodall Park, where you can actually grab some free composts made through this program, Ricky. Yeah, well, the city has been handing out free compost this week, and I had planned, Stella and Guy, to actually show you some of that compost, but it's been so popular that they actually ran out both here and at their second location at Randolph Park. Now, other than its obvious popularity, the city's composting program has been collecting food scraps from places like Hotel Congress, Basha's, Whole Foods, and they're turning those scraps into recycled compost rather than putting them in a landfill. At the Caridad Community Kitchen, run by the Food Bank, executive chef John Wordis says they typically throw away 700 pounds of food a month. We generate a lot of vegetable scrap, eggshells, coffee grinds. So when I first got here, all of that was just being thrown away. Now they are one of the city's biggest customers for commercial composting. We don't want anything to go to waste. As part of the service, the city picks up food scraps from about 30 businesses and takes it to this farm located on the Tohono O'odham Nation. U of A students run the farm, turning the scraps into compost. In order for the aerobic microbes to continue thriving, they need water and air. So. We water the piles like two or three times a week and then we turn them with this giant thing that hooks onto the back of a tractor and spins really fast. Tucson is one of only two Arizona communities doing commercial composting and the city says 80% of trash in landfills can either be composted or recycled. With food waste, if you're just picking it, if you're just taking it in the garbage and you're putting it in the landfill, you really are wasting it. Whereas this way we're able to do a proper recycle and make it into something that's going to be beneficial. And now this announcement to make the program permanent actually worked out pretty nicely considering that it's International Compost Awareness Week. And that's one of the reasons the city is offering up this free compost. Now, if you're bummed out that I told you there is no more compost here, don't worry. I talked to a city official. They said they plan to refill their supply both here and at Randolph Park by tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live from Udall Park, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side. Whew, that's good to hear, Ricky. Thank you very much. <laughs>